We know that the most predictable immunity that you can have is from the vaccine. And we encourage everyone to get the primary series and now the booster shot. So with the booster, we know that the primary series wanes um, longer in time. And now the CDC is recommending a booster shot for everyone after five months from the second shot of the primary series. And this would be for both Pfizer and Moderna. If anyone's received the Janssen, Johnson & Johnson primary vaccine, then they can receive a secondary booster two months after the initial shot. And that can be J&J, &J, although it's preferred to be Pfizer or Moderna, because we know that that provides better protection. So if you experienced any side effects with the initial primary series, you may experience similar side effects with the booster. Some people do, but for others it's less. So that would be chills, body aches, headache, nausea. It's just the initial feeling that you might be getting ill, but you don't. The symptoms typically only last for 24 hours and never typically longer than 72 hours. You only have to wait until you're out of isolation and symptoms have improved. So that would be after that initial 10 days. Some people do choose to wait until after 90 days because they do have some antibodies from the infection, but it is safe to get as soon as possible after the infection resolves. Each person responds differently to the COVID-19 um, exposure and infection, and the immunity from a prior infection is not predictable. Because of that, we found better responses in people who were vaccinated. And so we still recommend the vaccine even after a prior infection. The COVID-19 boosters are available at the rec center. The schedule is available online. You can check the WVU Return to Campus website. They're also available on a daily basis at WVU Student Health.